Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions and today I'm going to be looking at Ubiquiti Unify's new power amp. So this is the first time that Ubiquiti have really like dipped their toe into the audio world and it's very good timing because as you may or may not know, Sonus have been having a lot of problems recently and they've kind of been the market leaders for a long time but people are definitely looking for alternatives. A lot of people really like the Unify stuff so I think adding this amp is going to be very popular and I can see this product being used a lot. I think that we're certainly going to use it a lot. Um, so I'm really interested to take a look at it. I've actually got it set up here behind me. You can probably just see it. So I've got the power amp here and we've got a couple of speakers. What we're going to do is we're going to go and look at it, uh, take a look at the spec. I'll do some unboxing, then we'll do the setup. Um, and then finally, we're going to talk about some of the audio quality and where it might be deployed and my kind of final thoughts on it. OK, so let's get on with it. OK, so I'm on the Unify store. Um, I'm under what's new, but we need to go to new integrations and the power amp is here. First thing to note is this is not actually out in the UK yet. I had to get this from the EU store. I know it's also out in the US and probably Canada as well. Um, but it will be coming soon to us. So first thing to note is the price, £598.80, including VAT. That is about £100 cheaper than the Sonus amp. So that's a good selling point for the power amp straight away. Okay, so let's look at the connectivity. We've got the Apple AirPlay 2 and we've got Spotify Connect, which allows you, allows you to wirelessly connect to this system using your phone, tablet, whatever you're using to connect uh, and get your music playing. We've got 130 watts per channel at eight ohms. That is five watts more than the Sonus amp, um, and that should be plenty to power most speakers. If you're gonna be putting lots and lots of speakers in, then you need to check out your power use uh, and make sure that you don't need more than one amp. But the good thing about these amps is you can zone them, so if you've got a couple of amps, uh, then you can group them together and play the music as one. Okay, so we've got two speaker outputs. Um, and we've got the custom design banana plugs, which you'll see shortly. Um, you've got an RCD, uh, sorry, RCA uh, analog subwoofer output, so you can add a sub to this, which is great because that really makes a difference to your sound. We've got two RCA analog inputs. Um, so if you don't want to use this streaming, then you can just use those RCA, and, uh, RCA analog inputs. And there are adapters. So if you just want to plug it into, say, like an Alexa or whatever you want to use, then you can do that as well. It's also got HDMI eARC, which means you can use this with a television. Um, and the big difference between this and the Sonus amp is this nice little, oh, it keeps spinning, but a little LCD uh, rotary knob at the front. That is actually a touch screen and uh, it allows you to change the volume as well. So it's really um, pretty clever. Um, the, the setup, where it says effortless setup, it really is very easy to set this up. Um, and I'll show you that shortly. And we use the Unify Play mobile app. It comes in black or white. I've got the black one. Okay, so let's get on with the unboxing. Right, so here we have the power amp. It's a very nice looking box, um, as you'd expect from Ubiquiti and uh, I've actually got the black one and it has got a black picture on the front. I don't know whether if you get the white one, you get a white picture, I don't know, but it's a nicely designed box. You just fold it open like this uh, and then that's really full. Now I have had this out of the box already. So you see some of the bits and pieces are coming off. You get an installation guide. Then we've got the amp itself. My first impression of the amp is it's quite big. It's a little bit bigger than the Sonus one, for example. Um, but it looks very similar in many ways. So it's got a nice solid black uh, construction. It's got the rubber uh, plate on the bottom so you can sit it nicely. And then on the back, we've got all our inputs and outputs. So here we've got the uh, data. So you can use this presumably as a little switch. So basically you can have an in and an out. Um, we've got our audio left and right in. So on RCA connectors, we've got a subwoofer out. We've got left and right uh, with the two little uh, banana things, which I'll show you in a minute. We've got a power and our eARC, so we can connect this to a TV, etc., to use it for the TV's audio. And then on the bottom, we've got a reset button as well. On the front here, we've got this nice little dial. Um, it's an LCD screen, so this is going to light up. Um, my only sort of thing about this is normally these kind of amps would normally sit somewhere like a cabinet or maybe like a loft or a cupboard. So I don't know how much interaction you actually had with this. I think generally speaking, you're going to use the app or uh, some kind of app-based service rather than this little dial. But I still think it's a nice little touch. And if you do have it somewhere you're going to use it, then this is obviously going to be quite useful. But we'll look at this in a little bit more detail in a moment. 
Okay, so that's the amp itself. What else do we get in the box? So we've got the little power lead. Unfortunately, I've got the EU one, so I'm gonna have to use an adapter on that. We've got another little quick start guide thing here. Um, and then we've got some of these kind of banana plug things, which are plugged into the back of here. And then we can connect our speaker cable directly to these just by unscrewing them and putting the relevant cables into that. So that's all you get in the box. Um, pretty nice. It's a, it's a, a sort of premium feeling product. Now I'm gonna set it up and take a look and we'll see what the sound is like. Okay, so the speakers I'm gonna be using today are some entry level speakers, but they're pretty nice. The Cure Acoustic 320s, um, Cure Acoustic are a British, British manufacturer. Um, and these speakers are definitely suitable as you can see from the specs down here. Okay, and now I'm on whatHiFi.com here and we've got a review of the Cure Acoustic 320s and they've got a five out of five star rating. As I said, they are entry level, but they have found no cons on these speakers are for the price. So that's what I'm gonna be connecting to the amp and I'm hoping to get some pretty good sound from them. Okay, and I thought I'd just quickly show you what speaker cable I'm using here. I've got some 16 AWG. Um, this is low smoke zero halogen cable. Um, it's it's good quality, it's stuff that we would normally use for uh, ceiling speakers, etc. Okay, so now I've got the power amp set up and I've got this connected to the speakers, etc. It's plugged into the network and it's got its little uh, ready for setup on the front here. Now, my instinct was to go to uh, the Unify console, to so my uh, Dream Machine Pro SE that I've got here and begin the setup. But actually, for this, you use the Unify Play app. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through that setup and then we'll talk about the app. Okay, so if we go to the App Store or the Google Play Store, we're going to go into the search and we're going to go look for Unify Play. And we'll find that. And then I've already downloaded this, but I've deleted it, so we'll download it again. And then once that's ready to open, you agree to the policy, continue, allow it to do its stuff. And then it's gonna start searching for the power amp. So we can see the power amp's being found straight away. So I'm gonna say set up. Uh, we can edit the device name here straight away. I might just call that YouTube. And uh, we go, and we'll go next. And then that's starting set up. Set up is done straight away. Um, the firmware updates were applied earlier. It did that as soon as it powered up. So I didn't have to do anything for that bit. It did it automatically. And then I'll just press done. So there we can see the power amp. So the device is there obviously if you've got more of them then you can kind of set up these zones so if we go over to zones first of all you can add lots of amps and then you can put them together into one zone so if, for example you've not got enough power from this one amp to power all your speakers you can group them together and then you can kind of create that zone so we're not going to do that at the moment because i've only got one amp but that is a possibility let's go back to the device so we just click on the device it's really simple to use so we've got the volume here so we can control that as well as on the actual little uh dial on the front of it we can choose our source so streaming hdmi r e arc or line in uh, and then we've got our equalizer here which uh, kind of changes it depending what we're using so we might use a music one or we can go and change the actual settings down here as the bass treble etc we can change the left and right balance we can put the loudness on if we just have a look at that so it boosts your low and high frequencies um, so we'll leave that on Screen brightness is obviously the LCD on the front, which we'll take a look at in a minute, and the LED ring brightness, and we can change that LED ring color as well as we uh, as required. Um, if you want to get rid of it and start it all again, you can just remove it, restart it, locate or make it flash on the front so you know which one's which. And that is about it on this bit here. So it's really nice and simple. It sort of gives you a connection and the IP address at the top there. In the settings, there's not an awful lot here, but we can add an alarm if we wanted to. Um, we can also put some quiet hours in so we know it's not going to um, it's not going to disturb people at certain times. We can connect to Spotify, but actually if I open Spotify in a minute, you'll see it is already a source on there. And we've got a couple of other bits there we're not going to bother with. So let's go into Spotify. Right, so if I go to Spotify, I pick this song. This is one of my favourite songs to test speakers with because it's got some really good bass on it. So I'm going to go down to here, click on this, and then go to my sources. And I can see the first source there is that YouTube speaker. So I can press that, press play on this. Oh, it's already started that song. And you should be able to hear it in the background. 
So that is playing straight away. So it's really nice and simple. There was no setup on this at all, really, other than that sort of initial naming it and connecting it with the Unify Play app. And then it appears straight away on my Spotify. I've also got that as a source on anything else, really. So any kind of Apple AirPlay 2 stuff, it's going to be available um, to play that audio. Okay, so now we'll take a quick look at the actual power amp itself. You can see it here. I've got a little LCD screen on the front, and that's the song that I was playing most recently. And this is a touch screen, I believe. Yep, so we can just press that, and it does play the song straight away. Obviously, we've got the volume here as well, so we can just turn that, which is quite a nice little touch. As I said earlier, I don't think that actually you'd interact with this that much, because normally you'd have this kind of tucked away somewhere, but still, I really like it, and I like the fact you've got this little screen. It's, uh, it's quite cool. Um, as I said earlier, you can't really get a good idea of what the audio quality is like with this, but it is pretty good. I'm pretty impressed. These speakers that we've got here are not the best speakers in the world, but they're decent enough, and the sound is pretty is it's pretty solid, it's very crisp. Um, it would be even better if we had a subwoofer connected to this, but I haven't done this in this instance, but obviously that is an option if you want, and you can use pretty much any speakers you want. There's plenty of power with this power amp, so uh, we do have that option. So one of the difficulties of reviewing an amp on YouTube is I can't really show you the audio quality. However, I've spent a little while playing with this now and uh, I can tell you it's really quite good. It took me a little while to kind of play with the equalizer to get the music sounding exactly how I wanted it. I didn't love the music preset button on the app. I kind of tweaked it a little bit and I got it sounding in my uh, opinion, really quite nice. And obviously that's just on these kind of entry level speakers here. If you hook this up to something even nicer, uh, you know, some monitor audio or some BMWs, then you're gonna get a really nice sound from this, I'm pretty certain. Um, so I think this would be good for deployment in commercial scenarios, you know, maybe in retail or in, uh, you know, restaurants and pubs, etc. I also think that it would be great for the home, for ceiling speakers and things like that. I'm not sure that I would use it with a TV, although it's got that um, arc um, output there. I don't think I would use it just because I prefer an AVR because you can get the surround sound. One of the downsides of this amp in comparison to Sonus is that you can't pair it with other speakers. So with the Sonus amp, you can have the amp doing some speakers at the front, and then maybe you can use some surround speakers to get that kind of fake cinema sound that you get from Sonus. Um, which you're obviously just not going to get from Ubiquiti. What I would say is Ubiquiti are very good at introducing new products, but also introducing new features in firmware. So I'll be interested to see where this goes in the future. Obviously, they're at the very beginning of their kind of audio story, so we'll see where it goes. But overall, I'm very impressed, and I thank you, Ubiquiti, for uh, releasing this product. I'm, uh, I'm really looking forward to using it in the future. Thanks very much for watching the video. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.